It's one thing to be a fan of Seagull, but Viking Samurai seems to defend him as much as a paid lawyer would. <laughs> it is the truth. This is going to be interesting because while filming The Last Kumite, you and I started talking about Seagal quite a bit. Oh, yeah. And you are a big defender of Seagal. Huge. Mm. One of the only ones on YouTube, probably, because there are so many anti Seagal videos on YouTube. And it's a shame. It's a damn shame. Well, the man deserves in, respect. You've entered the lion's den. <laughs> anti Seagal channel. Hey, guys. I thought it would be really fun to do a collab video with Jason Brandt, who does a So Bad It's Good show because him and his group, his wife and his friend, are not Steven Seagal fans by any means. They are very anti-Steven Seagal, whereas I am pro-Steven Seagal, and I thought that would be an amazing collab video, and I had a lot of fun doing it. But boy, did I get eviscerated in the comments section. It's just me against the world. Which I guess kind of makes sense. It'd almost be like me trying to defend Andrew Tate at a uh, feminist rally. Or if I wore a Make America is Great Again hat at a Joe Biden rally. Like, I, I, I kind of knew what I was getting into, but damn, is the internet brutal. So <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to go over and address some of these comments. Jason's pinned comment, he said, I thought it'd be fun to have a Seagull fan on during an episode so I could shit on Sifu in front of him. But I had no idea that David would get Segolian levels of hate from it. <laughs> that is true. Uh, there's 52 replies to that. And I, I, I even said, hey, regardless of the feedback, a.k.a. hate, this was a great idea. I still stick by it. It was a really fun idea. But, but yeah, a lot of his viewers, like this guy, uh, yeah, I honestly suggest you don't do that again, Jason. There's not a lot of love for <clears throat> sexual abusers in the world today, no matter how funny Sifu's on-screen waddles and... Grimaces are, look, those are just allegations, man. We don't actually know if that's true or not, but I'm not going to get into that. All lies and false propaganda. Oh, this guy, here's some support. He said, Jason, it was the right decision. That's my personal opinion. Sifu has his right for an advocate. And I was that advocate, man. One of the few on YouTube. Oh, and then some of these guys, like, look at this guy, Robo Tricks. Bad move. Trying to figure out if there's a way to block this episode without unsubscribing from the whole channel. By the way, did he buy that beard from the supreme leader in the movie Teenagers from Outer Space. So, that's that's just a stupid comment. Dude, like, if you don't like the episode, then don't watch the damn episode. Like, why would you sub unsubscribe from somebody's entire channel? It's like, that's dumb. What's so bad about somebody trying to do something a little bit different, man? Like, this is that guy who you can't even, like, have a conversation with because, like, he's got a certain perspective on something, and if somebody, like is uh, from another perspective he'll just like scream and yell and hide and like tear his hair out if he's not already uh. fucking bald that loser i think that guy's a piece of shit and so does this guy who uh commented he said blocking an episode bad move dude just don't watch it christ the egos on you people are absolutely baffling at best yeah and another guy you know commented to the robo tricks guy he said grow up don't tell people who make stuff what to make and if you don't like it then ignore it only children throw out a record because they don't like one song on it. That's true. I mean, that guy's a freaking baby, man. Oh, and then this guy replied to um, to that comment. You are literally one of three logical people I've seen in this video's comment section. I learned a whole lot about his fan base today, and it isn't good. Yeah, if more people were like that Robotrix dude, it's like, phew, you know, he needs fans like that. Uh, this guy, Granola Times. Viking Samurai, give props to you for coming on the show. It was a great episode, and I hope you come back. Well, thank you! And we did do back-to-back -back episodes, so I will be back, and Robotrix will probably be unsubscribed at that point anyway. Take care now. Bye-bye, <laughs> then. Loser. Oh, and this guy, yeah, he replied, um, I agree, dude. I thought it was great watching two polar opposites go at it. That's great, man. Like, y you should be able to have that kind of, um fun and discussion oh this uh comment from eric well played jason this will render a shit ton of views is climbing rapidly sparked some debate and controversy gave some poo for the monkeys to throw at each other this comment section is brutal yes it is very brutal but i am using my tension aikido skills that i acquired from Seagull's top student elliot freeman out in st louis to deflect some of this hate oh here's a comment um this might just be the best episode when it comes to that then again, I am subscriber to both, and knowing that the two actually work together in the last Kumite is great. Yes, that is where Jason and I met, and I thought we got along very well, 
and I also got along very well with his wife Erin, despite some what some of these comments say. And uh, yeah, it was great, man. It was a very pleasant experience. Okay, and then this, of course, was episode 201. If you follow his channel, you know he did the uh, bringing a thon. And I had commented, I said, and that was episode 200. And I said, episode 200 was a banger. No better way to follow it up than with this. I mean, come on, two opposing views on a single movie. Anyway, this guy, Q Cured 3 or whatever that name is, silence and not showing and uploading this video at all would have been better. Ouch. Artem Anna. Viking Samurai is either the biggest Seagull troll or the most deluded mofo. Uh, some of the comments on this. Honestly, having a hard time staying with this episode because of his apologist position. Uh, this guy, Slot Slasher. Oof, this guy is cringe. Mitch Mash Arts. Yeah, I had to bounce. And then, of course, I'll throw my own comment in there. Steven Seagull is amazing. And look at this guy, Boglinzilla. Seems dude knows he's not coming back on the channel. That's why he's trolling in the comments section so he can soak up attention for his channel while he still can. So I am coming back on the channel because we filmed back-to-back -back episodes and I don't need to get my attention from the comments section. I just found it kind of amusing. And I don't get how, how I'm trolling in the comments section, to be honest, man. Like some people are saying, oh, he's arguing with everybody in the comments section. It's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of hate thrown my way. I'm just responding to the comments. It's not like arguing, guys. Why can't you ignore it? Are you serious? Uh, this guy says, he's probably trying to get Seagull on his show, so it makes sense. Well, I am trying to get Seagull on my show, and I actually will get Seagull on my show someday, but that's not why I'm doing this episode or had a, quote, apologist attitude. It's like, there's a lot of stuff out there negative about Steven Seagal. At the end of the day, we just don't really know what's true or not. And I think a lot of people just assume whatever they hear is true. So these are probably the same people that watch CNN or Fox News and believe everything is true on that. Uh, this guy, the movie dealers, he's overcompensating because everyone dogs out Seagal so much. To be fair, he has a few movies that aren't terrible, but only a few, and those were over 20 years ago. Seagal killed it in the late 80s throughout the 90s and yeah I, I feel like I, I should be and sort of am kind of a counterbalance in a way to all the Seagull hate out there especially on YouTube it's like so bad for a guy sticking up for it man oh and this guy Chip Chipifson he he uh replied to that Boglin Zilla dude he said actually the dude hasn't said a single troll comment to anyone at all everyone is literally dumping on him and he's taking it in stride uh, that's true <laughs> Oh, and then Wal Kinshiro said, He's deluded enough to think he can fight Michael Bisbing, so I'm not surprised. He's ableist as F2, taking the piss out of Bisbing's glass eye, etc. He used to be a pretty cool guy, in my opinion, with a shit ton of cool as F content and interviews, but he's starting letting his jump in popularity and being in a film with a load of his heroes get to his big head. The whole Michael Bisbing thing, like... How do people not... Well, going through some of these comments, I can actually see why they don't understand... I am playing chestnut checkers here. When I threw out that challenge, do I think I would get that fight right away? Of course not. But I planted that seed, and I have no doubt in my mind a big fight can happen next year. Regardless, what's the result? I am getting a world kickboxing title fight at the end of November in Dubai. That's a step in the direction of getting my big fight next year. So I'm thinking, I'm planting these seeds and have a long-term strategy, but again, yeah, it's not even worth like explaining if any of these commenters are watching, you know. So it's it's right over their heads, man. And as far as uh, letting my jump in popularity get to my head, no. Like I've worked very hard to get multiple roles. I'm about to shoot my third film now and got my fourth one lined up. The shit doesn't like go to my head, but it it's giving me confidence that all the work and time and energy I'm putting into something is actually working out. And how the hell can that not build confidence, man, and belief? You know, it, it, it adds to that momentum and you guys all need to believe in yourselves as far as with whatever you're doing, whatever dreams or goals you have. You need to believe that first and foremost before anybody else will and then you need to put a plan in place to make that happen. So anyway, that builds confidence, man. So whatever, if people want to say that shit goes in my head, that's on them. They need to focus on their own goals and dreams and work towards that. Oh, and then uh, Chip, Chip is in again. He said, who cares if he likes Seagull? Jesus, he's just a dude sitting in a chair talking. The guy literally did nothing to anyone. <laughs> I, 
I like this guy. I like this guy a lot, man. He, he's got a very level head, right? And then uh, Boglinzilla, he's going back and forth with Chip Chipperson. He says, you're clearly not intelligent enough to get it. It's not just that he likes Seagull. It's that he's actively downplaying his abuse like it didn't happen. And then uh, Chip, of course, says, uh, you can tuck that pathetic attempt at a false equivalent right back in your suitcase. Also, you're drastically downplaying it, and that is inarguable. They are straight dragging the guy for no reason whatsoever like a bunch of weirdos and jumping on Jason telling him who he can and can't have on his own channel. <laughs> hey man, it feels good to have somebody, you know, <laughs> defend you. Which is what, I, what, what I'm doing with Steven Skull on YouTube, you know? <laughs> so. Oh, then, then of course they got a rag on Seagull. This guy, Humongous420, says, Glad you guys are calling out the real Seagull and not holding back. Seagull is not to be put on a pedestal. It will not support his weight. Of course, everybody has to put the uh, Seagull fat jokes out there, which were included in the episode, by the way. They are doing the fat Seagull lighting. Just light his face from here to here. Yeah. Hide his chins. Can you guys do that on the show? <laughs> Why do you think the camera's up higher? <laughs> you know what you could do? Oh, no. Beard. Beard. Oh. Yeah, I can't grow. I thought you were going to say go for a run, but I mean, that's that you... works too. <laughs> like, I'm trying to give you, like, you don't have to do anything. You do less work by not shaving. I'm trying to make your life easier, man. And this guy, uh, Zach Wanjar said, wait, wait, wait. Does this Viking samurai person actually think Seagal's novel is a true story? He's gone from silly to trash. What started out as a joke has turned out to be a disaster. Uh, anyway, anti media man said uh, to that guy, uh, you know, responding to he's gone from silly to trash. I suspect that you don't know what you mean. I think the above is just word salad because it sounds good, but you don't know what the silly part is, do you? And then he also said, oh, so now you're a literary critic too. I must have missed the memo. Next, you'll tell me that every autobiography out there is 100% factual representation of events. By the way, I've got a bridge to sell you. Interested? So, you know, the anti-media man, I'm, I'm glad he's kind of sticking up for me to a degree in this because he goes after me on my channel quite a bit, man. Oh, this guy. Uh, what do you say? Seems this Viking samurai guy doesn't like being called out as he's on here desperately trying to defend himself. I'm not desperately trying to defend myself. It's like, if people are going to talk that much <clears throat> shit, man. Like, it. I like to address the comments because if somebody likes or doesn't like me, I'd like them to like or dislike me for the right reason, so I'm just trying to, like, clarify a little bit, but also, I do engage in comments, so if you guys are on my channel, like, I engage with comments in general. These are comments, you know, that people are directed towards me and Jason's video, and at the end of the day, engagement is great. This video has gotten so many comments, and I'm sure it's gonna end up getting a lot of views because of all the engagement. I'm just adding to that. Thank thing, I'm helping out Jason. So, that's cool, that's not a bad thing at all, man. Oh, and then this guy, Raven Raven. You know, people try to make fun of the name. Uh, the Viking Samurai said, Just look at the name Viking Samurai. Could there be a bigger oxymoron? Vikings are pirates from the Western world. Samurai are warrior class who believe in honor. The two never met in history. So he just put the two terms together like a hipster. Dude, like, I literally have Viking and Samurai blood in me. And yes, I get that they are quite different. And there's a whole yin and yang aspect related to that. And then he says, He is also a flat earther. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. The bandwagon says the earth is round, but he wants to go against the grain, so he thinks it's flat. I'm not a flat earther for the record, you moron. Uh, Spup Official. He has major Andrew Tate vibes. I don't know if that's directed to me or not, but that, I'd take that as a compliment, man. <laughs> okay, and then what does this guy say? Mental prolapse. A Seagull apologist. I don't think I could allow that level of insanity in my house. Oh, anti-media man. Seagull Apologist. So, appreciating or defending Seagull's work now comes with a title? Interesting. By that logic, if I enjoy pineapple on pizza, I'm a pineapple pizza apologist. It's always fascinating when personal taste gets official sounding labels. You are a silly person with silly ideas. Oh, here's an interesting comment. I swear I remember reading that Seagull wanted his character to be some kind of werewolf or something in Under Siege 2, but the writers told him that wouldn't work. Oh, man, that would be insane. Like, I never heard that, but can you imagine? Wow. Wow. That would have been something. Uh, look at this one. Man, if this dude sniffs Seagull's farts any harder, he'll need an inhaler. Like, who even comes up with that shit? Like, wh why would an idea like that even pop in your head unless you actually smell people's farts 
that's actually probably what this dude does is just like, you know, have people sit on his face and fucking uh. fart because that's his fetish. You, sir, HSG Automotive, are a disgusting, absolutely disgusting individual for spending all your free time smelling people's farts. Like, get a fucking uh. life and some other hobbies, dude. That is beyond disgusting. I am disgusted with this guy. Oh, well, this guy, uh... Ishmael Castellani. I did not expect this collab to happen anytime soon, but here we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, man, because it was it was a good episode. Oh, and then, uh, what was this? Back to Earth. Aaron checks the F out of Viking shtick before the five-minute mark. I can see why this guy loves Seagull. He loves the sound of his own voice. And then this guy commented, KGH3000. He's around right now commenting in threads on this video where people criticized him. Dude is obsessed with himself. And I replied, engaging with comments does not constitute being obsessed with myself. I find these quite amusing and I'm entertained. You know, I said that stuff on TV didn't bother me none. Yeah? It did. Some of them actually do piss me off, I'm not gonna lie. And I wonder if any of these trolls have the balls to say that shit in front of my face if I run into them in public. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to use that anger because I am preparing for a fucking fight at the end of November. So I'm going to use that anger, man. It's good motivation. And then this guy, uh, Boglinzilla is back. Dude, just stop responding to hate comments. It's not making you look any better. Just the fact that I actually defend Seagal, it's like you think I'm the worst human on the planet. So, you know what? Get a fucking life, dude. Oh, here's here's one. Marcel Windigo. I got no idea why some people got this offended by you for one single video and some comments. I really like this episode and wouldn't mind if you came back for more. <laughs> Thank you. And like I mentioned, I will be back for one more episode because we did go back to back. Oh, and this guy, Timothy Sweezy. Samurai Viking loses all credibility saying Bruce Willis isn't an action star, so... Bruce Willis is a really good actor in action movies mm -hmm. as... A, you know, instead of an action star. Oh, I think we talked about this, because if they're not martial artists, you don't... No, they don't have to be martial artists. Stallone and Arnold aren't martial artists. But okay. if they're not... What we talked about, if they're not martial artists, they have to have a six-pack. Oh, that's what it was. They have to have the you. look that's for right. the action star. There's different ways to define an action star, and I have always felt Bruce Willis is a great actor who just happens to be in action movies. There's a difference, because when you talk about, like, great action stars, I'm thinking Stallone... Arnold, Van Damme, Seagal. I'm not thinking Bruce Willis, man. And a lot of other people don't either because the body of his work is a lot more diverse. And the funny thing is a lot of these, quote, action stars wish their body of work was more diverse. And they did try to um, branch out, you know, into comedy and some other stuff. So I don't think that's insulting. I'm pretty sure if you asked Bruce Willis and said, hey, would you rather people say you're a great action star or would you rather have people say and describe you as a great actor who happened to have done some great action movies? I'm pretty sure he would say, yeah, the latter sounds way cooler, man. Mark Hula, it's one thing to be a fan of Seagull, but Viking Samurai seems to defend him as much as a paid lawyer would. <laughs> it is the truth. Jeez, man. Oh, we got trained by Ook. Viking Samurai is one Anavar cycle away from a tainted supplement scandal. Whatever, man. I am 100% proud to be natural for life, despite what a lot of people will say. But I do take that as a compliment because, hey, it must mean look, I look halfway decent and got some decent results in the gym. But if you work your ass off hard, day in and day out, and eat right, you will be amazed what you could look like. But it won't be three months. It'll be more like two years of doing that. Anyway, if you want help, I can help you. Download the First Form app and you will actually get a real advisor and you could also join my Facebook group. So I'll be putting more info in there in general, but that's linked in the description below. I might as well plug that because I want to help you guys get in a better shape, man. And I, myself, know what is actually achievable naturally. You're going to have your health intact. You're going to get good muscle gains. You're going to get good fat loss. You're going to feel a lot better, man. So anyway, check that out. If you want to download the app and get serious and join my Facebook group, linked in the description below. Yeah, see, this guy at least appreciated it. Mr. Han, he said, I love both channels, but I'm with you guys when it comes to Seagull. Seeing Aaron rolling her eyes more than once when the defender of Seagull starts defending him is pure gold. At least he, at least the guy could enjoy that aspect of it, man. Oh, I like this one, Atmos1. It's funny, YouTube started recommending Viking Samurai to me around the time I started watching you guys. Too happy to see the collab. Perfect movie for it, too. Thank you. And that's that's what we wanted to do, man. But, oh, some of those guys. Oof. 
Like this guy, Hastings Cutoff. Couldn't finish it. This guy brought down everything for me. Seriously, Jason, who is this tool? Oh, anti-media man. The tool comment. Ah, the classic move of resorting to name calling when you can't articulate a valid critique. It's always easier to throw out a derogatory term than to engage in a constructive conversation. You know nothing and are hiding. I will prove it and you will look foolish in front of a large audience. I'm starting to actually like this guy even though we go back and forth a lot on my channel. <laughs> Oh, the Angry Moose. Wow, what a mad episode. As soon as that guy started defending Seagal, I cringed, but I'm glad that all you guys didn't let up, especially Aaron. And the comments section has been very interesting as well. Glad to see everyone is pretty much on the same page, though. Guys, go to the comments section. Let's, let's, let's try to balance it out a little bit, man. <laughs> and then he said, Amazing how anyone can be an apologist for such a proven and well-known piece of trash. In what way is it proven? Allegations like I could I could literally say the angry moose you are a rapist and a serial killer and a pedophile I could just make that allegation doesn't mean that shit's true man You can't just say something is proven like the courts will prove stuff in front of a jury uh, BMCK the heavy anger coming out about the guest viewers thoughts is kind of killing the usual fun vibes of the show Yeah, I mean it was a fun episode, but Damn, am I getting eviscerated here. Uh, Bree D. Sense. Really impressed that Jason invited someone with different views on to watch with you guys. That being said, probably won't be checking out his channel, but he was brave. <laughs> At least I got that going for me. And this guy, Seal B. Me. I'm 11 minutes in and I can almost guarantee you your Viking buddy has more than one hat made a tin file. I have no tinfoil hats, dude. <laughs> hey, here goes one. Danger, uh, DW1QX. I absolutely love this episode. It was kind of awkward watching two opposing sides and one in denial and one who knows Seagull is full of shit. I'm glad you didn't sugarcoat your opinions. Oh, and this guy, Benji Spinoza. I knew this episode was gonna suck when I saw Viking Semra on this. And then he's, oh, you know, he's delusional and... Blah, 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 uh, sexual allegations, this, Russia, that, all this, and then... Oh, and then he says, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. explains what happened according to Gene LaBelle himself. Yeah, well, I got an actual witness, actually two interviews on my channel, the late stuntman Stephen Lambert, and then also stunt coordinator Conrad Palmasello talking about what really happened. And, like, when uh, the Freddie Prince Jr., he tell him the story, he didn't even get the right movie, man. So what other, like wrong facts facts is he getting dude and then he finishes the comment why'd you have this guy on here because it was pretty goddamn interesting having two opposing views on seagull watching one of his movies man like that's pretty uh. fucking genius dude let's see you come up with a fun idea oh hey look at this frigid ninja 78 he said viking samurai nice the last episode was the best ever and now this thank you we did it for you, man. I'm glad there's at least a couple people that appreciate this collab. And then, of course, we have this user me to whatever stupid username he's got. Thank you for giving me a good reason to never watch anything on Viking Samurai's channel. In the future, it may not be the best policy to showcase guests who make excuses for a, quote, man who, yeah, whatever. He's just spewing the uh, allegation stuff again. Oh, and this guy, user mi2, whatever stupid name that is, can't even come up with like a good username. Thank you for giving me a good reason to never watch anything on VS's channel. Okay, so you don't watch anything on my channel anyway. You probably, at least you've heard of it now. You heard of it now. You heard the name. But you have heard of me. Anyway, I think I'm done engaging and going in that comment section. You guys should watch that episode. It's a good episode. But... It, when you put yourself out there on YouTube and just social media in general, you got to have pretty thick skin. But with all that stuff raining down, down on you, man, I'm only human. I'm not going to lie. Some of that shit did piss me the fuck off after I kept reading it, you know, especially that whatever Goblinzilla motherfucker and then that fart smelling piece of shit douchebag. So fuck those guys. I'm sure they got pathetic lives. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit the gym and, and get some of that anger out of my fucking system. Working out is very good for your mental health, physically, mentally, spiritually. You guys, if you're not working out now, man, check the link. 
Download that first horror map. I'll help you guys get in better shape. It's only going to improve your life in every facet. And I'm going to go ahead and work on my mental health and clear my head from that because those motherfuckers did get to me a little bit. Just a little bit, though. It's a long road.